Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a step by step how to connect your Verizon 5G home internet to your router and as you can see you can get 2.4 and 5 gigahertz signals on this router uh, it's a Netgear and the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I was getting a very low speed when I was just using the Verizon home internet but I'm getting a way better speed after I connected it to uh, my Netgear uh, router. So let me show you guys how to do this. So guys, this is what you will get when you order your 5G home internet from Verizon. This is just a box. Uh, this is the model number that I have. You see here, NCQ1338. Uh, it's 2022 version. Uh, installation uh, guide, it's easy, three step. You just plug it in. And uh, this is the device itself. It has two, uh, it has two ethernet port uh, power and that small hole right there is to uh, reset this thing to the factory reset you get the uh, ethernet cable and also the power adapter so let's go install this uh, and connect that this thing to our router okay guys so first thing you need to do is to plug it in you can see here that uh, the light is blinking we have to wait until the blinking stops and it shows a solid uh, white uh, light over there. I just plugged it in here. So uh, you do need your computer with you. I have my laptop here. Uh, soon I'm going to uh, connect the uh, box uh, to my computer with that uh, ethernet cable. And uh, just note that you have to connect this to port number one at the bottom. I will show you in a bit. As you can see guys, uh, there are two ethernet port at the bottom, a uh, LAN one and LAN two. What you guys need to do is connect the ethernet cable to LAN one. This is very important. You have to connect it to LAN one and uh, connect the other side to your computer. Okay, so now I have a, a solid white uh, light over there, which means everything is good. One side of my ethernet cable is connected to LAN 1 at the bottom of the box, and also the other side is connected to my computer. And I am connected right now to Verizon uh, via ethernet. So it's not uh, through Wi-Fi, it's actually connected with this cable. So when you see that, then you need to go uh, configure some setting uh, of this box. And how you do that is to go to that URL, uh, which is basically uh, here is 192.168.0.1. And this actually is at the bottom of the box. It's at the bottom of the box. If you look at in there, uh, you can see it. And also it has a password. So when I enter, this page shows up and then you will enter that password, which is under that box. There are two passwords. Uh, use the second one for that URL. And then you sign in here. And this is the page you will see. So now you need to go to network and go to LAN. Okay, when you are here, uh, you need to configure the IP pass through. Right now is off. We want to turn that on. So configure and click uh, and turn it on and as you can see here it says once enabled you will not be able to modify any setting beside the device setting and LAN setting internet pass through Wi-Fi and LAN 1 connection will be disabled and LAN 2 
LAN 2 port will be su uh, support the IP pass through. This is very important. So let me show you, let's show you. So I'm going to save this. This is going to take a few seconds. Uh, so after it's done, uh, I'm going to save, save it. So let's wait till this thing uh, finishes. Okay, guys. Uh, so now it's uh, IP pass through is on and as you can see now you don't see all those settings on the side and that's a good sign means that uh, your IP pass through is right now is turned on so we good we don't uh, we can save it but it says uh, you don't have to save it so now we are done this part now what we have to do is to connect the box to your router so let me show you how to do it so guys as you can see i have a second ethernet cable but you don't have to have it you can just unplug that one and the first one and connect that to your router but i just want to show you guys that i am connected to lan 2 this is very important you have to uh, connect uh, your router to this box through lan 2 so now this side is connected and on this router here <clears throat> you see i have like uh, four ethernet port and one yellow one which says internet this is where you need to actually connect it so let me give me one second okay so i'm going to just like that so <clears throat> now one side is connected to the router and the other side is on and uh, connected to LAN 2 and as you can see here we have internet right now so this is all you have to do and now here on this page As you can see, uh, this is uh, the Wi-Fi uh, for my router. So now all I have to do is connect to uh, my router uh, through Wi-Fi. And it takes a minute. And also I'm going to disconnect the Ethernet cable from my computer so as you can see now is uh, is not connected uh, through ethernet now i'm using the wi-fi uh, so guys as you can see i have internet connectivity right now i did a speed check and it shows 135 download 15 upload so as you guys know this is a modem and router combined but now we turned off the router portion of it. So right now it's, it is working only as a modem because right now this is router and this is modem right now. And I'm getting a way better speed using this than using the router that is inside this thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you guys have any comment. Thanks.